Hello and welcome to Good Morning Thailand. Today we're going to be talking about some of the news topics from across the country. This ad is brought to you by Carzuno, the easiest way to lease a brand new car in Thailand. I'm Jay and we're going to start with our first story. Happy Ramadan everybody. Thailand's Islamic Authority has announced the start of Ramadan in Thailand as well as across the world. The office of Chula Rajamontri, Thailand's highest Islamic authority, has declared that the holy month of Ramadan will start today, March the 12th. This is the time of the year when Muslims across the globe, including those in Thailand, participate in a month-long period of fasting, spiritual introspection, and charity. Ramadan, known as the ninth month of the Islamic calendar is profoundly respected by Muslims everywhere. It's a period devoted to spiritual consideration, self-discipline, and abstinence from eating and drinking between sunrise and sunset. The holy month is seen as an opportunity to fortify one's relationship with God through increased prayer, giving to those less fortunate, and refraining from indulging in worldly pleasures. Happy Ramadan to all the Muslims in Thailand and all across the world, and good luck on your fasting month. Um, all right. Uh, on that note, we're going to move on to our next story. Um, some good news coming up. If you're excited for Songkran next month, we've got some good news for you as airlines are now going to charge you cheaper prices. Six airlines will add 104 flights and give a discount of about 20% on early morning and late night domestic flights during the Songkran holiday as an economy option for travelers, according to the Civil Aviation Authority of Thailand. The CAAT Deputy Director General on Monday said that the move is in response to Transport Minister's recent call for lower airfares during festivals to help ease the problem of expensive tickets for domestic flights. The CAAT held a meeting on February 28th with six airlines which include Thai Airways, Thai Air Asia, Bangkok Airways, Thai Lion Air, Nook Air, and Thai Vietjet to discuss the high price of airfares. And these airlines have agreed to operate 104 extra flights, which will provide 17,874 additional seats on April 11th, 12th, 15th, and 16th to destinations that include Phuket, Chiang Mai, Samui, Ubon Ratchathani, Udon Thani, and Khon Kaen. So ladies and gentlemen, get ready. Uh, get your bank accounts ready, I'm guessing. 20% discounts on airfares in more Morning and late night flights to your domestic destinations. Get traveling this Sankran. Good news for everybody. We're going to move on to our third story, which actually takes us to Uthai Thani. Uh, now, this story, uh, unfortunately, is uh, a sad one. An Uthai Thani farmer dies from smoke inhalation while burning grass. Uh, a tragic incident occurred uh, when a 56-year-old man died after inhaling smoke and losing consciousness while trying to control a fire he had started to burn grass in his field in Uthai Thani province. The man, identified only as Pyeong Jai to preserve his family's privacy, was alone at the time of the incident. Emergency services were alerted to the incident late last night uh, on March the 10th, two nights ago. On, upon arrival, they discovered Pyeong Jai's body at the scene. The Authorities, including police investigators, medical personnel, forensic experts, and rescue workers from Utaitani, conducted an initial examination and found no evidence of foul play or violence. All of Pyeong Chai's belongings were accounted for, and his family has chosen not to pursue any further investigation into his death. According to relatives, Pyeong Chai had left his home on his motorcycle on the evening of March the 10th, heading to his field alone. After parking his motorcycle, he walked down to the field and began burning the grass. However, the fire quickly got out of control in his attempt to extinguish the flames. Pyeong Chai inhaled too much smoke, which led to the asphyxiation and his subsequent death from the burns sustained. Um, Oh, our group, for instance, go out to uh, his families. But uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, please do be careful. Don't mess with fire, especially if you're going to be trying to burn a small, you know, patch of grass or whatever it may be. Uh, don't take the risk. Don't burn things in general. On that note, uh, we're going to move on to our last story today, ladies and gentlemen. There's some good news for filming in Thailand because Thailand's planning film development measures and uh, a funding of $200 million. 
That's right. Thailand is poised to get serious about its, its commitment to the film industry and plans to launch a major new body, the Thailand Creative Culture Agency, with a budget of 7 billion baht, which is $200 million. Long a destination for Hollywood, China, and Indian productions, and currently playing host to the lensing of Season 3 of White Lotus, Thailand has many of the elements that could contribute to building a major film industry. These include diverse locations, skilled crews, studio facilities, and a location production protection or incentive scheme but the country has sometimes been held back by an approach that sees film predominantly as a tool to support the tourism industry a flatlining local box office and clumsy censorship the current civilian uh, government says it sees culture as more than window dressing and is committing itself to a wave of soft power initiatives to grow nearly a dozen industries ranging from thai cuisine music and dance and muay thai boxing but yes film Thailand has always been a, a very popular film destination. Uh, production costs in general are cheaper here. Uh, you can get away with a lot more things in Thailand. And, of course, it's got beautiful destinations. Uh, so great news for the Thai film industry. Uh, hopefully more and more Hollywood films can come and shoot their movies and series here. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Those are some of the stories from across Thailand today. Uh, we hope you enjoyed them. There are, of course, more stories on thetiger.com. We'll be back live again tomorrow morning, hopefully with a healthy Alex Latour. Until then, see you. Take care. Bye-bye. This ad is brought to you by Carzuno, the easiest way to lease a brand new car in Thailand.